ready for the facts. Bounty hunter D got them all in the hex. DNA don't lie, truth looking perplexed. Baby daddy. What's going on, everybody? It's Bounty Hunter D, and thank you for joining me for another episode of the Bounty Hunter D Show, where we talk to amazing people about their relationships. Make sure you get the hottest merch in the game, whatsoever in the game, which is the Bounty Hunter D merch. How's that look, honey? Does that look good still? I'm actually talking about the belly. Is the belly? Is that a big belly or no? There's no baby <laughs> in here. Good. Speaking of baby, I have Tracy here. Stacy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stacy here. And you want to find out who your baby daddy is. Yes, I Let's do. Let's start it. Let's talk <laughs> about that. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. Yes. <laughs> so tell me all about the baby. Okay, hold on, because I get names wrong. This is my cheat sheet here. <laughs> hey, baby Lewis. Yes. Lu and who came up with that name? Uh, I did. Does it, does it have anything to do with the second greatest heavyweight champion of all time? <laughs> second greatest heavyweight champion of all time is Lennox Lewis. Does it have anything to do with Lennox Lewis because he's from London? Well, I don't know if he's from London, but he lived there, I guess. Yeah. British. Yeah, actually, no. But I, I wish I wish I could say yes. But <laughs> no, be truthful. No. <laughs> it yeah. was my granddad's name. So, oh, it was? Yeah, I yeah. just love Lennox Lewis, though. Uh, do you remember him as a champion? Yeah, I do. I Second do. to Muhammad Ali. Yes. Because Muhammad Ali is the greatest of all time. <laughs> yes. And number three, just for the record, because I know people want to know who number three, greatest heavyweight champion of all time, all time, is Mike Tyson. Yes. Yes. And number four is Evander Holyfield. But I'm not going to get into sports. I'm not going to get into sports. So, Lewis. Yes. And you're from London. Yes. And it rains a lot in London? Oh, always. Oh. Literally, if you're going to go to London, bring your umbrella, bring your coat. You need to wrap up for winter in all the seasons. Oh, so if I periodically during the show, like, go into my... English accent, you're not going to be mad at me. No, it's really good again. I try so hard. It's I want to good. use my English accent. Say hello. Hello. Hello, Stacy. Hello, Stacy. <laughs> I want to talk about your relationship with your brother. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm just a handful. But honestly, rate my English accent. Was it like one to ten, like a four? Yeah, no, I'll, get, I'll give it a seven. You'll give me a yes. seven? Baby, my English accent's a seven. Yeah. Now, what made you say that? A seven? <laughs> then you just went cockney there. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Once I go in and out, you? this whole thing here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do I do uh, respect and love my Africans over there in, in, in London and everyone else. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So how long have you lived? We know we'll talk about the baby, but let's talk sure. about the London because I don't think we've ever had anyone from overseas in London here. We have maybe one, right? So oh. I, I, tell me about London. Is it yeah. like a great place to live? Well, is it do you know what? It I is. don't know what. That's why I'm I, asking you. <laughs> I, that's why I'm asking you. I, I do love it. I love London. I was born and bred there. Um, I have my friends, my family. That was my life. Um, and I was like a single girl and I was partying. And one night I met a guy called Pete. And right. um, Pete is the baby, just for the record, Pete is the baby daddy. Yes. Suppose, allegedly. No, no, no. He, he is 100%. I just say allegedly on the show yeah, yeah, until yeah. we open up the proof. Fine. So he's the one that we had tested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we started in London, and there's a reason why I'm sticking to London. It's yeah. because that's where you met me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's so a reason why I'm still in London <laughs> here. You thought I was just going on a tangent. <laughs> no. You think I'm crazy? <laughs> no, you're not. Go and say it on camera. You're fun. You think this brother's crazy? <laughs> no. Okay, so go ahead. I'm yeah. done with that accent. No, I'm done. no, it's fine. But it's fun to um, hear. Yeah, please keep going, keep going. <laughs> no, it's really hard. I can just see the comments. D, stick to your English accent. Even though I'm African, I have an African accent. This is my English accent. Just so y'all know for the record, this is my English accent. I speak with an African accent, okay? Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. So that's why I stayed in London. Here. Yeah, yeah. So you met Pete. Yeah. In London. Yeah. All right, tell me so, about that. Yeah, so we was on like a night out with my friends. Um, and then Pete was in the corner with his friends um, and he kind of invites me over. Uh, he buys me a drink and it was all really nice. And my friends were really happy for me because they could see I was just chatting with Pete and they kind of left me. I was single for two years. So they was just happy that I was out and I met someone. Um, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I could just, <laughs> baby, I can hear this girl just talk and talk and talk. Ah! Love this accent. <laughs> Two hours. We're gonna okay. We're gonna make this Sorry, a long I'll speed episode it up. here. I'll speed it up. No, I don't want you to speed it up because I'm enjoying talking to you. You have that accent, which is amazing. Go ahead. Oh. I'm sorry. I just had to had to say that. And believe me, by all means, I ain't flirting with you. I don't do that. 
Hold on, I'm not flirting. No, no, the accent is amazing. But oh, go ahead. Thank go ahead. you. So yeah, maybe it was the accent. I don't know. Um, we he, had a really he's nice. He's from night. America, though. Yeah, he's from okay, America. Okay, so go ahead. All right. Um, and he, basically, he was down for work. Um, he swept me off my feet. Um, <laughs> nice. he took me. He was down for a week. Um, and he booked some hotels, lovely meals. He took me to expensive restaurants. Um, wine and, and dine, Joey. He did, uh -huh. and I fell for it. Like I fell for him. And I fell completely head over heels. I was in love. And I said to my friends, I think I'm going to move for this guy. How long was the, I think I'm in love, how long did it take? Because for know, me, it was love at first sight with my wife. It yeah, was first like sight. people think I'm crazy. But no, was, I don't. It, for me, it was like that, truthfully. This yeah. was like, for me, it was the same thing. Yes. I saw my wife, I'm, I'm your boyfriend, and I let yeah, all yeah. my, had 100 women. I had maybe over 100 women, maybe 150. <laughs> I let them all go that yeah. day, cut them all off. Boom, yeah. so I believe, I'm like, I'm one of those guys that love love. Yeah, me too. So, yes. And my, my parents so we do together. exist, honey. I told you I'm not crazy. <laughs> my wife thought, oh, you're crazy, you're crazy. I said, no, I love you, I love you. He's like, oh my God, dude, stop it. Yeah. But I was like head over heels over her. Yeah, honestly, like my parents have been together since they were 16. And I truly believe like if you meet that person, yes. it, it, I, I found that with him. I believe um, that too. And it, it was a week that we spent the time together. Okay. But it was a day for me. Really? Well, I didn't get the chong chong for like a couple months, you know. <laughs> and they say, what they say in Mexico, the chong chong? The chong chong. Yeah. I didn't get the chong, cause she wasn't playing that though. Even though I was trying to be all sweet, I was lying to her the whole time too. I, I got this, I was in line and line. You know, when your yeah, relationships, yeah, yeah. you lie. Y'all yeah. lying to your, if you're in an early relationship, I don't get, you're lying to them right now. So if that guy's telling you all that, the mother is lying to you because we lie <laughs> to try to get it or we just want to get that good you know she really loves me i have i told my wife all kind of i was this and i i was related to Den Did i tell you i was related to denzel or something i don't know i told her all kind of <laughs> all of this just so i can just get with her because i want her to love me because i love yeah. her right away and as a man you want to impress that woman and yeah. it seems that's what uh, what he did to you is that he impressed you because yes. he just he probably fell for you the same way. Yeah, and for me, it wasn't just about the money. It wasn't about the wine and the dining. I felt we had like endless chats. Anyway, he then moved back to America. I was left in the UK for a few weeks. Okay. We were on Skype all the time, calling each other. He asked me to move with him. Uh, let me back you up just a little bit. Yeah. So when you were here for that yeah. short time, yeah. did y'all have, did y'all like, no, do anything no, physical. Like we we said to each other, like this is it. Like we found our person, and we were we were a thing. Like we. So left nothing ever happened. That no. Like, baby making stuff. Yeah, like no way. So like, honey, that was just like our relationship. <laughs> my wife tortured me for months. She slept in my bed. It was just torture, torture. <laughs> it was torture. I mean, I was like, I can't say it, but I was like every night, like ready to to just be with this woman in all yeah. kind of ways. Yeah. And I'm laying there and I'm laying in the bed and I'm just looking at her and this beautiful woman and she putting her body on me. I'm like, yo, yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> and I got nothing. It was just, good night, honey. Oh, she was playing hard to get. I don't know because that's how she is. Like yeah. she's not, no, I don't say she was playing. No, I want to tell your story because everybody wants to know how you did me when I first met you. How wrong you were that you held out for so long. Months. But treat them It was months. I mean, months. And listen, you got a woman sleeping in your bed and it's great and you're hugging and kissing her. Yeah. But that was, I, I just, you know, every night it was the same thing. Just hug and kiss goodnight. Yeah. Hug and kiss goodnight. And she, she's a cuddler. So she, you know, she, and I'm like, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so, torture. It was so much torture and pain and agony. But then it's led to God. this, right? Marriage. Yes, that's the amazing part. Yeah. And just to know that, you know, guys, you know, just to know that she wasn't so easy too. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Because I spoke to my mom, God rest her soul. I used to tell my mom about her all the time because I was like, mom, she ain't, what's going on? I, I'm in a friend zone. Or She's like, no, nah, boy. Well, my mom didn't say no, nah, boy. But she yeah. said, no. Ninja, you're not in the friend zone. Yeah. It's just she's not a Yeah. And I was like, well, just but I but I love her, mom. I don't look I don't see her like that. She said, Well, all women don't see she was just scolding me because I don't have female friends. My mom was my female friend. Uh, so I just feel baby, I just feel like I, I can talk to this London girl, like <laughs> it's cool. Well no, you've been telling her that story and her story is like it's nowhere to be found. I want to hear her story. Oh, because I'm talking about my story? 
<laughs> oh, okay. I guess my story doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it does but, matter. But I just want, the reason why I'm telling you all of this is because yeah. I understand in terms of y'all yeah. not really doing anything right away. Yeah. And then yeah. the things that I blurb about, blurge about, splurge about, yeah. I want people in the audience to maybe have, maybe it's relatable in mm -hmm. some, you know, we're seen all over the world. So maybe somebody, oh, I can understand that D because yeah, me yeah, and my yeah. girl, we didn't do that. No. Yeah. That's why I'm saying it. But she always get mad at me when I tell her story. Aww. Oh, she made me wait for so <laughs> but she's not easy the like agony oh no but that's that's the good thing oh, and no. i think if if you know something's gonna be right like i i basically was said to my friends i'm gonna go like he asked me to move and i thought why not like that's what what have step. i got to lose like honestly my i'm self-employed mm -hmm. so i had no like house no bills to pay i obviously didn't have kids from previous relationships or anything like that um, then I moved my whole life over okay. for him. All right, so now we're going to turn yeah. the page. Yeah. Because we all happy and fun. Yeah. Now Uncle D got to talk to you about if, why take the DNA test if this guy was your guy? Why? Yeah, so I, I can, I can explain. Happened? Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we, I was Before in LA. my wife fires me. And he he basically moved me out. He was always out with his friends. Um, he'd have drunken nights. Sometimes he wouldn't even come home and I'd just be left. And I'm thinking, oh my God, what is going on? Um, previous to that, let's back, back it up. In London, okay. he did know that I was close to a friend called Alex. Um, Alex has been my best friend for years um, and we used to dance together so he was my dance partner and um, so he'd see clips on my Instagram of us like close and touchy but it was purely just dance um, and yes we were friends we'd giggle laugh but he, I felt like Pete was always a little bit wary of him um, but I tried to tell Pete like nothing has ever happened like we've never been together nothing like that like honestly you guys meet him he's just like a fun lovable friend Okay. Um, so yeah, and I think Pete always felt like that was there was something more. Um, he'd always bring it up in arguments, um, but his arguments would stem from him just going out drinking and myself just being left. Um, and then a few months of being in America, um, obviously I found out I was pregnant, and um, it was really hard because I told Pete, um, and Pete was just in denial that it was his baby why was he in denial I think he wasn't ready to have a kid had nothing to do with your dance partner I honestly like I have zero attraction to this boy and he knows that I feel like he just thinks it was him um, but I think he's just using that as an excuse so what you're saying is that okay so I can just understand this mm. based off your time frame yeah and, and correct Uncle D if I'm wrong <laughs> When you were in London, yeah. you guys did not have any physical contact. Me and Pete. And Pete. We, no, we didn't. You didn't do baby making stuff. We kissed, we done stuff. Can't make a baby kissing. Baby making stuff. Okay, so from there, he goes back home. Mm -hmm. You come to America. But we Skype for like two hold, weeks. Hold on, I'm going somewhere with yeah. this. I understand all Sorry. of that. Y'all Skype because y'all in love. I'm not crazy. I'm in love, no, it's okay. So I don't understand. Mm how he could accept the baby if he didn't have relations, uh, a relation with you when you were in London. When we was in America together, obviously we did do... Did right, do. no, I got yeah. you. But, so <laughs> but, okay, so what's the time frame? Is the time frame you got pregnant when you were in America or is the time frame you got pregnant when you were in London? It was when I was in America. When you were in America? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does he see it that way? He thinks that you were pregnant when you were out there and then you brought the baby like Eddie Murphy did to America, <laughs> coming he, to America. He, he thinks it was conceived That's what in he London. Thinks. Yeah. Okay. And you showed him the time frame. Yes. Did you show him what the doctors say? Yes. And he still didn't believe the time frame from the doctors. Because no. the time frame from the doctors, I don't think is 100%, mm. but it's damn close. Yeah. Hey, you got pregnant on this day. Yes. Right? And then he can go, oh, so did you show him that? Yes. And he still denied it? Yes. So for me, I just feel like... He, I was just a bit of meat for him. It was a, it was a great time we had in well, London. Well, you're saying that now because you're mad. Maybe. Yeah, uh, you're mad at him now. Because... I, I, I hope that there was some love there, but 
Is if I'm honest, there for him? from my side, yes. Like, but from him, I just feel hate. It's just this like, mm -hmm. un, like I, I don't know what's going on in his head. I don't know what's happened to him. Right. He's just changed. He's changed. Mm. Now, has he seen the baby since then or what? Um, baby Lewis. No, he hasn't. You haven't sent him any pictures or? I've tried, he... I've tried face timing him. Mm -hmm. he, he won't pick up the phone. Um, I've tried knocking on his door um, and nothing. I'm literally on you're my own, renting a room Okay, with so Lewis. you're still in the States, you haven't, yeah. okay. Um, and I'm just trying to get this mess sorted because I feel like is he's still his father and mm -hmm. I want him to have some relation to him right. and yeah I can't be affording a baby on my own like here and what about your because you said you were, you had your own business how is that yeah. is it like an online business you could do anywhere yeah yeah okay. like I have an online business so I okay. teach online but I also perform here as well but it's hard with a baby so then I have to get a babysitter or friends and my friends have been amazing um I have some friends from the UK here but not a lot um and I've made some new friends the girl that you have with the baby yeah. now who is she yeah she, she she's um she's literally been a friend of mine for like nine years we went to college together yeah, she talked like you too yeah yeah, yeah. Got that little <laughs> accent and shit. um okay so i'm gonna bring him out because i'd like to hear his side of the story because you have unpacked a lot and you like the helpless romantic like i was when i met my wife yeah yeah let's go ahead and bring him in uh we're gonna bring in pete let's see what pete has to say i haven't seen him in so long when is the last time you've seen him uh, Pete, what's up, dog? Hey, how are you? Hey, man. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and have uh, a seat, man. Hey. I'm here. <laughs> yes, you are here. I appreciate you being here. Uh, as you know, we uh, did the DNA test with you several months ago to see uh, if you're the baby daddy of baby Lewis, and uh, which brought you on the show today. But before we get to the DNA results, I do want to hear your side of the story in terms of, uh, you know, meeting Stacy, and, um, you know, over in London and then coming here. Are you in the military that brought you over there? Like, so certain things that we wanted to know. No, so go ahead, tell no, your side of the story. No, it's not military. I'm uh, an executive vice president of an IT firm. Okay. So I manage some accounts overseas and we were installing a whole new, basically an entire server room. Uh, so I oversaw that project it's there for like, say three weeks, um, but I only met her towards the end there. Okay. But yeah, not military. And our, and you wined and dined her when you first met her and all that good stuff. Yeah, and yeah, I did. Okay. I did. All right. And then you guys, uh, you moved back to, or not moved, you went back home to America. Yes. And you kept in contact with Stacy. Yeah, we, we did Skype a lot and all of that. And, okay. Uh, and how did that end up? I'm not gonna lie, I mean, I did think I was in love with her and I wanted her in my life. And you know, one week wasn't enough to figure anything out and you can only do so much with Skype and telecommunications and all that. So I, I, I did want her to move over here. I invited her to live with me in California. Okay, now how'd that go? It was good, it was, it was good? fine, it was fine. It was fine until I realized that you were cheating on me. Oh, how, how would you, why would you say that? What's the proof? I saw your phone out on the bed. You always leave your phone out on the bed. And I was tired of you just saying that you and Alex were friends. So I looked. What, by me just literally speaking to Alex as, as a friend, do you think that's cheating? You don't speak to friends every single day. I mean, we're not like 18 anymore. I was we're... left on my own in that room, in the apartment. I have no work. Way. I'm trying to get this company off the ground and you are always giving me about going out and no, working. I, no, I, I literally, I was left while you were out drinking, doing whatever you were doing. I Sometimes don't know if you we were with girls, to take clients with your, your we friends. We have to wine and dine clients, just sure. like I wine yeah, and dine her. Mm, clients, yeah. I saw that. I saw you walk home one night. Two girls linked around your arm, they're clients, <laughs> 3 a.m. What was going on with the girls on your arm, man? I had already found out that she was cheating on me. So, okay, I knew this a long time 
What proof did you have? You said you the saw the text messages. Te the Instagram. Okay, what were the text the messages? The Snapchat. What was it about? What, what were they talking about? Yes, yeah, what was they the danced about? together, but it was very clear that they were also. Can you tell me the proof? Where are your receipts? I don't have her phone. I don't have any receipts. So, exactly. but I saw, <laughs> so you don't have any proof. No, I mean, I saw it with my own eyes. I don't need no, to you prove didn't, it to you anyone. You saw a text message. I, the that... proof is that Luis is not my baby. Okay. That's the I'm proof. just getting to the you cheating just, part. You just want him to not be your baby. So she goes Have back to London. Have you seen his eyes? They're Did your eyes. Did she tell eyes. you how she went back to London? She went back to London not once, not twice, three times what? without me. Why? Yeah. Well, yeah. to see friends, to do family. To see my mom, because I was going insane. I was just on my own. Literally, I have about three friends on hand out here. So anyway, the whole thing about the timeline, it's very possible that this is not my baby. Well, so you, I know it's not my You baby. saw the doctor, uh, whatever she showed you from the doctors about the timeline. And she told me that it matches when, you, when she was here in America. Yes. And you said you did not want to accept that. Can you tell me why? Well, I mean, I accept the timeline. Okay, I'm just so accepting that there's other, there, there were other people here pumping it into her here during that time. Pumping it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. She said, just so I can understand your point. Right. During the timeline After that she, can yes. you just allow me to speak? I'll give yes. you a chance. The timeline that she is talking about, referring to, is the same timeline that you saw saying, stating that she got pregnant when she was here in America. But now my question to you, is, is that a yes or no? Because I have another question. Is that a yes? We got to get past yes. that. Okay, so now we're past that. So if she was here in America and got pregnant, are you saying that she was cheating on you while she was here? Is that what you're, is that what you're, you're saying? No. Okay, so then how did she get pregnant if it's not by you? If she wasn't cheating on you, the timeline adds up to you. Help Uncle D understand this, because I'm not, I'm not like trying to condemn exactly. you. I just want to know. To London. She okay, went back I got to you. London. So you're saying that she was going back to London during that timeline of the doctor when she was here, when she was going back. Yes. That's within that timeline. Yes. Okay, I got did, you. I didn't even see Alex gotcha. in that time. He was away on tour. I was with my mom. I stayed at my parents' house. Okay, so let's you talk about this. Alex for a second. First of all, there's no way Alex is gay. <laughs> okay, I know you are like... Wait, how do you know that someone's not gay? What do you mean by that? You can just look at them and say they're not gay? Because she would always try to but use that as Alex a defense. But maybe Alex doesn't know. Alex the doesn't dancing, know. going on tour, you know, all of this. Have and you ever seen him with his boyfriend or? No, he's never yeah, been Yeah, but he's never even he's come out as her. gay. He's never come out as gay. It doesn't matter if he's gay, so bi, can you straight. Tell me, can you what tell is me your to issue? your face, to my face, that you did not with Alex? A I saw the text. 120%. Uh, like I swear, I swear on my my little nephew's life. These texts were not PG thirteen. What were they talking about in the text? They Just were talking name one. about name one, name uh, one incident. Name I one. love your body. I can't wait to get close to no, you. No, it wasn't. I, I love body. I love how he lifts me up in lifts, and he he backbends me. He, I love how strong he is. I feel safe in his arms. In that sense, there was nothing more to it. I can see the it. parallel there. Well, it's about dancing. I can see the parallel there. Thank you. I can. But in your defense, too, I can say, oh, wait, it's kind of mushy. I can understand that, too. But if you know that that's her dance partner, then I would usually, I would say, hey, that they're talking about dancing. That's not. When Stacy got here, when you got here, you changed. It just, how did she change? Well, I went into myself because I felt, I felt like I had no friends. I had no partner. You have your friends I was here. You have two. I was so alone. I felt just literally, you just, you just left me. You got me over here. And then it was just like, I was just your little thing and your little project for London time. And then I come over and I was left. And you I sold me a lie. I was providing for you. <laughs> Why you say he sold you a lie? Well, he, on our, all of our Skypes, literally hours of calls, we spoke so in depth about our future, how we want to get married, how we want to have houses, places, and how much you, you, you saw me and it was love. Like you felt love towards me. And then I got here and it, it was just your life again, your life with the boys and your clients. You were still <laughs> part of that. You were still part of that. Yeah, well, and you asked me at once to come you with you. You don't ever want to go to these things. 
It's because that one time I went and you made me feel so awkward. I was just sitting at the table whilst the girls were just giggling around you and they were looking at me up and down like I was some it alien. It wasn't just girls. First of all, the, those were their boyfriends were there. The one girl was no, one married. One boyfriend married. That just goes to show you, and I go back to my original statement when I was talking to you. When you first meet a woman, I'm sorry, but we're going to lie to you about a lot of And men don't want to admit it because they're and scared to admit it and tell the woman that, hey, I'm not really this person, I'm not really that. It's just that when you move in, like for me, I always go back to my personal relationship because I am selfish and I believe what's good for me is good for everybody else. So I lied to my wife too. I told her all kind of But when you I move in, I'm gonna talk to you, Stacey, because when you move in with somebody, you have no choice but to show them who you really are. I couldn't lie to her after that. Cause she saw I, my little habits, right? Well, she found out later I wasn't related to Denzel, but that's fine. But she saw who I really was. Cause I live with her. Oh, I can't show her this anymore. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to let her know that. Oh, oh baby, you know what? I really, that thing that I showed you in the beginning, I really, really don't really like that. So then you start showing who they really are. So Stacy, he lied to you the entire time and you lied to him too. Because that's what couples do when they first me only bounty hunter d is open is who's okay and openly saying that every guy lies when we meet a girl why I, because I, we trying to get we hold stretch, on we stretch we don't truth. stretch shit we're trying to because that's how we are and women know that so we lie to them i lied to my wife no man's gonna come on here be on tv like me and say yeah i lied to my wife because they don't have because they're still lying to their wives that's why. Well, she's not my wife. Well, girlfriend, <laughs> you lied to her. She's not my girlfriend. And when she moved <laughs> yeah. in with you, you I'm showed her. Girlfriend. You showed her your true colors when she moved in with you. That you were, you know, you had a side. So not. I never. And you abandoned her. I never and went cheated on her. And with your friends because you know she mm -hmm. had no where to go except with your ass. So you you showed you as we say because I'm I'm very ghetto at times. As we say, my mama would say is you showed your ass to her. You showed her who you really were. And I'm not condemning you. That's just what we do. I did the same shit. So when you know you had her trapped, that's when you showed your ass. You start hanging with your friends more. You had two out when you were supposed to be somewhere and she said you oh we she had already cheated on me and in my opinion you ain't show and i catch cheaters for a living ivan has he even showed any proof or told me me and it have you heard anything and i do this for a living i catch cheaters for a living but from your story homie it doesn't sound like she cheated on you i'm not saying that she didn't cheat on you or she did cheat on you i don't know but from your story it just doesn't add up to me have you seen the baby no. I looked on her face. Okay, let me show you baby Lewis. Oh, yeah. He doesn't look like the greatest, one of the greatest boxers in the world, which is <laughs> Lennox Lewis. Big up to Lennox Lewis. But. Yeah. Both of y'all, come here. This is Lewis. Little cutie. Come here, come get, come close. Come close. See? Yeah, I mean. Can you see he's got your eyes? Come on. Man, this There's baby. no way. Man. Look how light his hair is. There's no way that's my baby. Same color eyes. Well, the baby hair haven't grown in yet. <sighs> they all look like Martians when they're this small. They look, you know, like they're from another planet. But all of them look like that. The black ones, the white ones, the Latinos, all of them look the same. They all got, they all look funny. But the baby does look like you, in my opinion. I'm not saying that this is your child. Yeah. I'm just saying that there's a lot of similarities. And that's why I bring the guys really close to the screen so they can see and see that this is a life. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So there you go. I just, you know, it, she's tried to include me. But first of all, I know it's not my baby. And you second of all, I've moved on. <laughs> oh, my God. We broke up. I started dating someone else. I'm engaged. <laughs> If it is your baby, let, let's, get, let's get the proof that it is your baby. But like you said, if, then you're going to have to help me. There is no way that you're just going to off and leave me. So if you find out that baby Lewis is your baby, what you going to do with him? I don't know. I mean, I would. Look, I'm, I'm willing to do my share, OK? I want him to have a father. 
Uh, I just hope that you can introduce him to his real father. Oh, Alex. shit. Here, let's have a seat. Okay. I've got someone here uh, I want to add to the conversation. If I can get my mic straight here. Jesse. Hello. What's up, man? What's up? How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I wanted you to be a part of the conversation. Obviously, you know that uh, we're here with Stacy, and uh, we are trying to find her baby daddy. And I just wanted you to be a part of the conversation. You still okay. willing to do yeah. that? Of course. Right on. Let's go. Anything for Pete. Right on. Hey, Jesse. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, Pete? Long time no see, man. It's good to see you. Hey, Jesse. And um, hey, Stacy. So go ahead and weigh um, in, man. What do you have to say? Well, I hear you guys have some problems, and you know, I've known Pete for many, many years, and I know his character. And I don't really know you too well, Stacy. And I know you've been traveling to London. I know you've been catching up with your friends and staying with your friends in London. I didn't stay with my friends, stay with my parents, but that's what he's told you. It's fine. Well, I mean, I'm, that's not what I heard. I heard you were seeing some friends in London. I heard it was a male, but I don't know too much. And I know my friend Pete, and I know if it's his kid, he won't raise the kid, but he doesn't think it's his kid. So do so, you, do you, Jesse, think that it's uh, Pete's child? Oh, man, no, me personally, no. It's, it's pretty shady. I mean, Stacy, you've been going to London without Pete and staying with some people, you know? If it was Pete's child, wouldn't you want Pete with you and then put? It was for a couple of days and it was with my family. I haven't stayed with any other guys. And I come straight back to Pete. Uh, Stacy, do you have the receipts though? Do you have pictures of you with your family? No, so, you, the, the, the Instagram, right? You follow it, you follow it. You're always yeah. out, you're always out with Alex. And yeah. he was on tour all out. three times. We were dancing together, we're not out. <laughs> you're out, you're drinking. <laughs> no, you're no out. it's, it's a, social nights. It's, nice. it's, it's like social nights, nice. nice. it's salsa nights. Well, it's not I, going I, out to get drunk like you. I don't like ever you. know what the time difference is, but it always seems okay, like Well, you should know. know. <laughs> you're going out with a guy named Alex, dancing with Alex. I mean, doesn't that seem kind of weird to Alex you? Alex has been my best friend for 12 years. We've grew up as dance partners. Didn't Pete tell you that? Probably not. She he doesn't no, tell you the he, half of it, Jesse. Jesse. That's the thing. Jesse. If, if only we got to meet up and I could tell you the full story, then I think this would be a bit different. Uh, she's just, she's putting on this whole face. She's saying, yeah. you know, that she's never hung out with Alex, that, that she's never hung out with Alex, that they've never been. How long have you known I've him? never said I've never hung out with him. I just said I haven't been so And then you're trying to accuse him because he's gay and this. I haven't said he's gay, straight you or bi. I just that said he's my defense. friend. So, I, so I'm coming out, out as this homophobic whatever. No, you're not. A little bit. I don't think so. What? I don't think so. <laughs> because like the, the type of arguments. I'm not saying that. The type of arguments and discussions that we've had about Alex ever since we first met you are totally downplaying them right now. You are downplaying how close you are to him. You're downplaying how often That's you That's just your insecurity. That's your insecurity because you're pro like projecting what you're doing onto me. It's You've been your going out, insecurity. Jesse. It's you're your not one of his friends. That puts me no, doing my Je job, okay, trying Jesse, to get clients you've, and making you've me done seem well like here. it's sexual. You've there. done so well getting Jesse on the phone because he's one he's of your decent friends. Forever. Yeah, of course he has. He's not a party boy Stacey. with you. He doesn't go out Stacey. with you. You don't see him at Stacey. three a.m. with girls hanging on Stacey. his arm, coming home, leaving when me. When me and Pete go out, Stacy, please, please. When me and Pete go out, we hang out with the boys. We don't go dancing to the club with yeah, random women. Yeah, because you're we a different play. group of friends. The, the friends that he goes out with, his clients. You don't know any of that. When he's left me in the apartment I don't, I don't on my own, I can't get hold of him. He's one of my it. best friends. He wouldn't, he wouldn't bring up people that I wouldn't know. I, I know his friends. He's one of your best friends. He doesn't have a secret group mm. of friends. Yeah, you don't know the and half of it. we hang out, we play pool, we watch the game, we watch the fights, and we bro yeah. it out. We don't I know go you do. And, and that's why I like you as a friend, Jesse. Like, you're a good friend to him. That's why you're here, because he knows you're going to make him look good. It's not about looking um, good. It's about the fact that I am not is. the father. OK, well, let's see. Let's see. Shall we? <laughs> Jesse, do you want to be a part of the um, finding out? If uh, if he's the baby daddy or not, or should I let you go? 
No, I do want to find out, but okay. I know Pete. I, I mean, if he Let's says he's the not the baby daddy, then I have to believe him. Okay, so let's He's get to the boy. results. I mean, fair enough. Let's get to the results. Thank you, the love of my life. Let's get to the results, man. Let's get to it. Ain't no need to talk no more. So you're saying that when she was back and forth to London, she was with another guy. She's saying she wasn't. You think she got pregnant when she was back and forth, is that correct? Yes. According to the timeline. A DNA paternity test was conducted to determine whether uh, uh, Pete is the baby daddy of baby Lewis. The test compared to the genetic markers is alleged, is of the alleged baby daddy, which is you, uh, Pete. The results are as follows. Based on the analysis of the genetic markers, the probability that Pete is the biological baby daddy is blank percent. The level of probability meets the standard threshold for establishing paternity with scientific certainty. In other words, when it comes to baby Lewis, Pete, you are the baby daddy. <gasps> Told you. Told you. You heard that, Jesse? Yeah, Pete. So you got to raise that kid. I just read the DNA test, and Pete, congratulations! You are the baby daddy of baby Lewis. Congrats, congratulations, Pete. man! I'm so sorry, Stacy. I feel like a real heel. We have to figure this shit out. Yeah, we do. It mm -hmm. doesn't. It doesn't change the fact that I felt like you were cheating on. <laughs> well, having feeling like it hey. is two different things. Did you still want to st uh, stay here, or did you want me to let you go? Because I'm about to, to end everything. Sure. Yeah, you can let me go if you don't need me anymore, but thank you, guys. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, so now you know that that information. Yeah. So you are all set. Lendo, go ahead and put my baby back up on the screen. My baby, my baby Lewis, my beautiful baby. So did you want to uh, see your baby? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, we're gonna cut the cameras and we're gonna uh, see uh, what we're gonna do. I do wanna ask this question. I know it's a lot uh, for everybody to take in right now, but Stacey, you are gonna allow him, are you gonna allow him to see the baby? All right, and you are going to be a good father, I'm sure. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.